bicycles, jewelry, and locally made crafts. They're hot commodities at these Oakland, California stores where owners are operating rent free. Uh, would you like me to text you the receipt or would you like a hard copy? This is Pop-Up Hood, a new twist on the pop-up store where six small businesses opened in Old Oakland in early December, turning a struggling neighborhood into an instant retail destination. As part of Pop-Up Hood, landlord Peter Sullivan Associates gave stores like Nicole Buffett's, which sells locally made art and vintage items, six months rent-free to launch their business. The, the six months, the free lease, um, really gives, it's like wind behind your sails. Co-founders Sarah Philly and Alfonso Dominguez acted as liaisons between landlords and the city to launch the new hood. Pop-up hood is a win-win for everyone, not just the new businesses, because who wouldn't want six months free rent to, to, in order to like, give themselves time to mature as a business? It's a win for the building owners as well this was all vacant and it wasn't adding an, any amenities to attracting other businesses that could occupy the upper floors. Hi, how are you? The city sees it as win-win too, contributing $25,000 to opening and marketing costs through their tenant improvement program. Moving into storefronts that have been vacant for over a year, Pop-Up Hood is reviving the block. It's kind of like the missing piece. There's bars, there's restaurants, and the only kind of element that was missing was that retail space and so seeing this is really promising it makes me excited to be able to come shop here. The six businesses have banded together to share resources, tips and support each other and store owners say it's going well. I was hoping you know three months I'll hope I'll be able to break even and after three weeks we looked at the books and we're like oh my god we did it. <laughs> it's really amazing. The stores face an uphill battle given Oakland's high unemployment rate and retail has always struggled here. But if the stores make it, they can sign leases to stay, making pop-up hood less temporary than the trendy pop-up stores that come and go around holidays, and potentially filling some of the storefronts left vacant amid a weak economy. In Oakland, California, I'm Lauren Rutzer for The Wall Street Journal.